This is part 45 of AngularCRUD tutorial. In this video, we will discuss why and how to reset a form in Angular. Sometimes we must reset the form before we can redirect the user to another route. Let me explain this with an example. Let's navigate to the create route and fill this form. At this point, we have the form filled, but we have not saved our data yet. So when I try to click on this list link right here and navigate to the list route, we get a confirmation. Are you sure you want to discard your changes? And this makes sense in this case because we have not saved our changes. And when I click OK, it's going to discard the changes and navigate to the list route. But when we click cancel, the navigation is cancelled and we stay on the current route so we don't lose our data. But look at this, when I click the save button, even then we are getting the same confirmation. Are you sure you want to discard your changes? When I click the save button, the expectation is to save these changes and then redirect the user to the list route so we can see that newly added employee. Now let's take a look at what's happening when the save button is clicked. Within our create employee component, here is the save employee method which is called when that button is clicked. Notice we are first saving the employee data by calling our employee service and then we are attempting to redirect the user to the list route. And this is the line which is triggering that confirmation. Now if you recollect, in our previous videos in this series, we already discussed that the individual form controls that we have on this create employee form has got several flags like dirty, pristine, valid, touched, etc. Not just at the individual form control level, even at the form level, we have those same set of properties. Since the form is touched and we have entered data in few of the form controls, the form is marked dirty. And since the form is marked dirty, this line of code which is attempting to redirect the user to the list route is triggering our can deactivate card. If you recollect in part 39 of this video series, we implemented the can deactivate card on our create route. So to prevent the can deactivate card from being triggered, we must reset the create employee form before attempting to redirect the user to the list route. Resetting the form is easy. We can do that in the HTML declaratively or programmatically in code. First, let's take a look at how to do it in the HTML. Here is our create employee component HTML file. Notice here we have a template reference variable for our create employee form. We are creating it by exporting the ng form directive. And this ng form directive exposes reset method which we can call to reset the create employee form after saving data. It's not only going to clear all the form fields, it is also going to reset those flags that is dirty, pristine, valid, etc. Notice when the form is submitted, we are calling the save employee method. In addition to saving the employee data, we also want to call the reset method. And the way we do that is by using the template reference variable employee form and on that we call the reset method. Let's navigate to the create route and fill our create employee form. Notice now we did not get that confirmation. But there is a major problem here. Notice this newly added employee at the bottom. We don't see any of his details. That's because of the way we have implemented the save employee method. In our next video, we will discuss what is causing this and how to fix it. For now, Let's see how to reset the form in code instead of the HTML. There are two ways to reset the form in code. First, let's undo the change we have done in the HTML. We don't want to reset the form in the HTML, so let's remove this code. And we have our template reference variable here. So let's pass this to our save employee method. So within our component class, we know the save employee method is receiving the create employee form as a parameter. Let's call it EMP form. And we know this is of type ng form. Look at our template reference variable right here. We are creating it by exporting the Angular ng form directive. In the HTML, we use lowercase n. 
but within the component class we use capital letter N and then after we save the employee details by calling our employee service save method we want to reset the form so we use the parameter emp form and on that we have this reset method which we can call to reset the form which is going to set that dirty flag to false let's fill create employee form again Notice even now, we did not get our can deactivate card confirmation. Now, let's look at another way to reset this employee form in code. First, let's not pass this template reference variable anymore to the save employee method. This means within the component class, we need to delete this parameter as well. And that means this line is going to error out. And if we scroll all the way up, notice here we're using view child decorator. And the string that is passed as the selector to this at view child decorator is the template reference variable. So if we take a look at the HTML, that employee form string is nothing but our template reference variable. So basically, this at view child decorator is providing us access to that template reference variable in the component class. And we are accessing it using this property. So notice this property is of type ng form. And we know this Angular ng form directive has got that reset method which we can call to reset our employee form. So we can use this property and call the reset method. Let's do that right here after we save the employee details. So this dot create employee form dot notice on that we have got reset method. Let's fill create employee form again. Notice even now we did not get that confirmation, but we still have the same problem. We don't see any of the newly added employee details. We'll discuss what's causing it and how to fix it in our next video. There is one more very useful thing that we can do using this reset method. By default, this reset method resets the form flags like pristine, dirty, valid, etc. In addition, it also clears out the form fields. So on our create employee form, it's going to clear all the form fields. That's the default behavior. But in our case, let's say when we reset the form, we want to set some default values for name and contact preference. For example, let's set contact preference to default to phone. The way we do this is by passing an object to this reset method. And we know this create employee form is binding to this employee property. So this is nothing but an employee object. And if we look at the view template, the form controls that we have here, for example, here we have the name form control and it is binding to the name property. Similarly, it's here, it's binding to the email property, the email form control. So those properties we have on this employee object. So what we want to do is pass an object here to the reset method and this object should have the same set of properties that these form controls are binding to. For example, in our case, we want to set a default value for the name form control and we know that name form control is binding to the name property. So I'm going to set this to, let's say, test name. And similarly, we want to bind it to contact preference and let's default this to phone. Now, if we test this as it is, we won't be able to see these default values on the form because after we are resetting the form, we are immediately redirecting to the list route. So let's comment this line of code. Let's fill create employee form one more time. Notice as soon as we click the save button, the form is reset, but look at the contact preference radio buttons. Phone is selected and look at the name test field. It's set to test name because those are the default values we have specified when we call that reset method. In our case, we do not want to set any default values when we reset the form. So let's delete this object and we want to navigate the user to the list route. So. Here is the code to reset the form in HTML. If you want to do it in code, 
you can use any of these two approaches. To the reset method, we can also pass an object containing default values for the form controls. That's it in this video. Thank you for watching and have a great day.